Hey guys, Lucas here in Venture Surplus, and today we're going to talk about the ACU uniform. Not the camo, but the uniform. Alright, so what we got here is the Army Combat Uniform. Uh, this refers to the actual uniform cut, not the camouflage. The ACU camouflage, as people call it, um, just because it was so closely associated with the uniform style. UCP got called ACU and vice versa, or you know, just ACU is UCP. Um, kind of like how the BDU and the Woodland Camo uniforms got associated so closely that we call Woodland Camo BDU. Same thing happened here. But let's talk about this. So this is what replaced the BDU within the U.S. Army. Um, it got replaced in 04 along with the adoption of the UCP camouflage. And because BDU was old, um, BDU has been used for over 20 years at that point. Um, they were not up to the modern kind of cut and standard of a uniform. So mainly for, you know, body armor use. So a BDU uniform underneath body armor, you have no access to your pockets. Um, it's just a little bit not laid out really well for having body armor on and a lot of gear on. And so they updated it. This comes from testing and evaluations that came from the close combat uniform, the CCU, that the um, <clears throat> Army kind of fielded around and trialed around with in Iraq and Afghanistan in those early 2000 years. So it comes off the evolution of that, as well as you see like raid tops and raid modified uniforms that a lot of uh, Special Forces operators, Ranger Regiment, and some random units in the US Army would wear while they, in our, while they were in Iraq. Uh, especially. So it comes from all that development and that feedback from soldiers out in the field and they were like okay this is a new uniform style. So let's go over the top and then we'll go over the pants. So as you can see it's a lot different than the BDU cut. Um, first off we'll start from the top and then kind of go to the bottom. So our collar changed to a mandarin collar. So now it's it's meant to be worn up when worn under body armor but you can wear it down or just flip it up and you can completely close that collar off with the hook and loop tab. So you can completely hold that up and now your body armor is not going to rub on your neck so bad, which can be an issue, especially in the old IBAs and the IOTVs when you had the full the neck protection on or anything like that, that got pretty rough. So this is a good add-on for that, protect your neck. Wasn't always used, um, kind of came out of personal preference at the end of the day, but it is a good thing to have on there. It is kind of bulky, but you know, it's not too bad. I'm um, going down from there. We can see where our name tapes and U.S. Army tape go and where our rank goes is moved to the center and that's all on hook and loop fields. So the, the inclusion of hook and loop on the uniforms over just sewn on patches was people were getting tired of having to sew on their name tapes and their rank patches and their unit patches and their flags and it meant you know, taking it to the tailor or the sew shop on base and that's a high cost at the end of the day. If you get a new uniform, here's an additional cost on top of the uniform just to get it you know kind of tailored to the individual soldier so with the inclusion of that it made it a little easier on the soldier um eventually an update to the uniform would be allowing sewn on rank um and that would take out you know that kind of issue and it looks a little better than today too but as originally stood it was hook and loop fields and that's still modern for the ocp acu cuts let's so go from there instead of buttons we now have a two-way zipper now and it has hook and loop tabs for the kind of storm flap on there. So the zipper is an upgrade because it's easier to use rather than buttons. It's easy to get up, take off, all that. But the downside to the zipper over buttons is there's no field expedient way to fix the zipper. Once that zipper's broken, the uniform's bust. So that's, you can take that how you are, however you feel about that. Buttons are good, zippers are good. Buttons, you know, pop off, zippers break. You can fix one, can't fix the other but there's good and bads to both. And now with it having been a two-way, you can kind of zip it up from the bottom, allow some airflow, which is kind of nice. Now on the chest pockets, they are slanted and they have hook and loop closures. So that means you can open it, close it pretty easy. Um, they, what they slanted them as a result of, you know, body armor was the thing. Back when BDUs were brought up, they, you know, body armor wasn't worn by everybody. We're still on your load bearing equipment, your owl gear. You didn't need slanted pockets. So the slanted pockets allow you to open up your vest, reach in, get in your pocket, come back out, good to go. Rather than a top up and down one where it's kind of harder to get in there. So that's, you know, makes it easier to carry flat items under your kit. Uh, going from there, bottom's just a basic hem. It's kind of a loose cut to allow airflow and everything like that. Now on the shoulders is one of the biggest obvious differences from BDU. Um, you have shoulder pockets. These have big hook and loop fields on them for flags, unit insignia, all that nonsense. And as well as, built-in IR tabs. So you would see this IR tab change location throughout updates to the ACU uniform, 
and it would go from being on the pocket to the uh, this flap is the tab. And that way you can fold the tab underneath, get out of the way, and not have this tab sticking out on your uniform all the, all the time. And then the pockets are pretty good with that hook in the flap. So you can keep whatever you need to be in there. You know, a lot of times you see you know, SOPs come to be, keep a tourniquet in there or keep, you know, your PII kind of stuff when you're on a battlefield that you need on you. Keep it in there so that way it's easy to get to. From there, the, on the sleeves, there is a pocket with a hook and loop closure right there, and you can put soft inserts for elbow pads. That is nice. Um, that, got, that has been deleted from the current uniforms, but it's nice overall. They get kind of bulky, so I think that's why they deleted them, and nobody really used them in the first place. And then the cuffs change from buttons to hook and loop tabs. Really easy to adjust. You can get it just right for your wrist, and we're going to see this deleted later on too, back to button closure. Um, so the big downsides to the AC uniform, one of the biggest is the hook and loop. Now we're not talking about the camo, we're just talking about the uniform itself. So the hook and loop, that wears out, that has a life expectancy of about a year of good use. So after about a year, that hook and loop, if you're just pulling them off, put, put them on, pull them off, put them on, you're going to see that hook and loop start to just deteriorate. That's really the biggest downside other than a broken zipper um, on the AC uniform. Otherwise, it's a pretty good cut. Um, not much wrong with it that I ever saw when I was wearing it. Um, it's useful. Pockets are good to lay out. But, um, you know, obviously the, AC, the UCP camo, you know, people didn't like it and it got replaced for obvious reasons. But the uniform itself, the ACU, is good to go. Okay, so now we're on to pants. I'm going to start from the top, go to the bottom again. So we got our standard, you know, waist pockets and back pockets. Back pockets are buttoned. You got your standard belt loops and some button fly. Not much there changed other than they took out the waist adjustment tabs and now you have an internal pistol belt. Um, so you can adjust those drawstrings down, good to go, and you, know, you don't have to wear a belt necessarily, or it can just help support a heavier load in your pockets. Going from there, uh, biggest change is the cargo pockets and the addition of an ankle pocket. Now in the cargo pockets, it became slanted for easier getting in and out of, especially when you're like taking a knee, and they're billowed a little bit differently than on the BDUs. Now originally, they were hook and loop tab. And that drew to the same kind of issues as with the ACU top, where that hook and loop wears out for a certain point. And if you wear this for a year or two, and you're in and out of your cargo pockets, which is gonna be pretty normal because you keep your PC and your beret, your notebook, everything like that in there, that hook and loop wears out. So they replace those with buttons eventually um, and the updates to the ACU. But in general, especially when brand new, the hook and loop tabs work just fine. Also in addition, they put a, a shock cord adjustable uh, shot cord in the pockets so you can kind of draw these tight so that way if there's really heavy load you can still keep your stuff secure in there you have just like on the tops on the knees you have a uh, a slot for knee pads like soft knee pads which is not too bad and then you have the ankle pockets now these are small you can't really fit a whole lot in there but you can fit just enough to like make it useful um, if you put anything too heavy in there it gets kind of awkward uh, these would eventually get placed as well with the hook loop tab to a button. And then you have, you know, strings on the, uh, on the pant cuffs to blouse your boots, whatever need be. So where would we see the ACU uniform go from 2004 in adoption to kind of present day? So the ACU will be used in the UCP camouflage. When Multicam was adopted for use in Afghanistan under the OEF pattern, um, it fell under this uniform style too. And then when we took on Scorpion pattern in the OCP camo, several updates were made. Um, overall, and we'll go do another video for that later on. But AC as it stands still exists as a uniform style, just with some updates. Um, you know, obviously some updates we talked about in the video. So overall, it's still a lasting uniform. It's good to go. And you can find it in UCP camo and multicam camo as far as um, issued. Other than that, other camouflage patterns, it's not going to be issued. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed this overview. The ACU uniform, not the camo, is a, it's a pretty good uniform overall. It's seen some improvements over the years, and uh, you know, we'll eventually do the updated ACU uniform as well. But this is what you know, guys wore for a long time throughout Iraq and Afghanistan. And overall, it's a pretty solid uniform. Uh, whatever you think about it, let us know in the comments below.